Living in Nashville, Summertime Edition. Hi, my name is Elena Kavrigin. I've been working and living in Asheville for the past 15 years. On this channel, I create videos about Asheville and educate buyers and sellers on the purchase or sale of their houses. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and click on that subscribe button so you don't miss another video. Asheville is the biggest small town that is surrounded by mountains. Our mountains might not be the tallest, but they sure are very beautiful and they keep us cool in summertime. Average temperature in summertime during the day is about 84 degrees and at night is comfortable 65 degrees. A huge variety of trees and plants make Asheville very green. Most jobs in Asheville come from medical field, hospitality, and advanced manufacturing. Asheville is popular with tourists, retirees, and young families, and that comes at a price. Cost of living in Asheville is a little bit higher than places like Charlotte and Raleigh. Asheville is also a home to one of the 17 institutions in the University of North Carolina system. University of North Carolina in Asheville is one of the nation's top public liberal arts universities. It offers more than 30 major leading to the Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science and Bachelor of Fine Arts degree, as well as awards a Master of Liberal Arts and Sciences. As one of the residents said on niche.com about Asheville, Asheville is a heaven for hipsters and snobs alike, and everyone in between. And that's especially evident in downtown Asheville, a very vibrant part of our town. It's very popular with locals and tourists alike. You can see all kinds of people in downtown Asheville, from tourists to bridal parties, hopping from a bar to a brewery, to local artists, musicians, magicians, on pretty much every corner, especially on the weekend. To locals who just want to go to their favorite local restaurant. Speaking of local restaurants, there's basically no reason for anybody in Asheville to go to a chain restaurant, coffee shop or bar. We have so many amazing local restaurants uh, that serve great food, farm to table food and that's what Asheville is proud of. In summertime, there's always something going on in and around downtown Asheville. Whether it's a yoga in the park in the middle of Peck Square or beer city festival, garlic festival, art festival, you're guaranteed not to get bored. But this comes with a slight problem. Parking in downtown Asheville can be challenging at times, especially around those festivals or on the weekends. So plan accordingly and check out the video that I made earlier about parking in Asheville. There is a lot of like-minded people in Asheville who care about things like environment, sustainability, equality, tolerance. You can also see it in local businesses that support the same causes. Sustainability is huge in Asheville and that's one of the reasons why tailgate markets that are happening all over town all summer long are so popular with locals. You really don't need to go to a grocery store to buy your produce. You can just go to one of the local tailgate markets or farmers market that are happening pretty much in every part of Asheville. When it comes to outdoor activities, you will never run out of things to do. From being able to just hop on the Blue Ridge Parkway right here from Asheville and go either for a car ride, bike ride, hiking, go find a swimming hole or waterfall, or going tubing along French Broad River right here in Asheville. You don't need to go too far to hit a reset button. Just go to Arboretum, Nature Center, or Botanical Gardens and you will be immediately surrounded by nature. Asheville is very kid and dog friendly, with activities and businesses opening their doors for the whole family and their dogs. 
from a very vibrant and cool downtown, Asheville spreads out in all the directions. But the south side seems to be more congested, at least that's what it feels like on I-26. So here comes a tip from a local. If you can, avoid I-26 or be prepared to sit in the traffic. If you've never been to Asheville and plan to move to Asheville, I hope you found this information useful. If you disagree with anything I said or would like to add something, feel free to comment below. I will see you next time.